little tip, boyo. You find any coinage while you're out there, you be... Thanks, mate. All right, one more time. Oh, it's her. That must be a mess. Let's see here. Hi there. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this man. Why, hello, hello there, little godling. I have to say, you're quite the specimen, and so I've decided I shall aid you for the moment. and the power to break hearts. Sure, I don't see why not. Whoops. talents. Feels lighter than before. see.
Artemis. That fury down in Tartarus has been a real problem, hasn't she? I see the huntress instinct in her. She thinks she knows your weaknesses. Don't let yourself become predictable. Let's hunt some dead. I think I hear the river. Kieran's shop. Why, good to see you, Kieran, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman Charon lie sprawled about. Available for sale, Doomever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me. Not enough coin. Hey, lads. In the name of hate. Oi there, little Hades. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We have a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Big one. The power of the sea should be of help. What else? That must be one of those infernal troves.
That's a relief. Again. And there you are again. Lord Hades ought to lock you up. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe... I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I have... Okay, she got me. Shades of the dead mill constantly within the house, complaining of their woe. I listen. Uh, you got whipped by Megara the Fury, eh? I always wanted to say that. Whipped, you know? 
Referring both to how badly you look. I get it. Achilles, is it really true that Cerberus ripped the lounge up right after I left? I only wish you could have seen it, lad. The place looked like a vineyard after a typhoon. Your Lord Father was livid. But he never gets so angry with the dog. Poor Dusa, though, she's picking the place up. Oh no. I wonder what became of Dusa. She's always worried Father's going to fire her, even without something like this. You never learn. Welcome home, boy. You'll... That's all right, Father. I'm not feeling very hungry at the moment. I've asked repeatedly for the construction of a sundial, but every time they tell me no, can you believe it? You're impertinent. Here, boy. Just as long as one of your three heads enjoys these pets. The dog has enough troubles of his own. <laughs> Prices are a little steep there, I must say. Wonder where Nix went. Wild out there, boyo? Hey, I know the feeling. You just keep at it, though. You're getting tougher, getting... Appreciate it, Skelly. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly. It's not that orderly, really. Let's see what's in here. Varatha, the Eternal Spear. Join my pursuit. <laughs> Sure then, in the name of Hades, Olympus Island. Hey there, Zag man, how's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. to liven things up around here. Each time the prince delves back into the underworld, it's ever-shifting chamber. Built to ensure no one gets out. We'll see about that. Come on, let's fight. Next. 
gemstones for safekeeping. Just take this one. Your Highness. Hey, Princess. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go? Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury Sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. I'll just go about my business now, and you take care. Easy does it. Cheers, mate. Crystal, then. Spear for Arthur, the eternal spear. I thought it lost. Have you any idea how many lives it drank during your father's glory days? Lost souls with nowhere left to turn congregate in deepest Tartarus, where they fuse together with the Earth itself into odious forms which defy description. They basically turn into big crystals.
right now. Whatever, let's try it. I do not think so, boy. Let's make this quick. Father. Please accept this offering for giving me such... You are a flatterer of my death-inflicting kin. And I am feeling generous as well, so here, a small token for you of my affection. You have my thanks, Lord Ares. In the name of Hades. Making me choose. Hey, cheers, man. Consequences to such choices, if Ares, forgive me.
last so long, my kin. This one is not worth the pursuit, I think, when we can wage a greater one together. Mate, it looks as though you've got some fine wares up for sale. Oh. I'm here, Meg. <coughs> what are you doing, Zagreus? The underworld is sealed off. What you're attempting is impossible. You've seen what happens when you go too far. This place can't stay sealed shut forever, Meg. In the meantime, I thought I'd get some practice in, you know? I'm not your practice partner, fool. for that, Meg. Ah, I'm up! Wow, you've died at least five times so far, I think. Dying's good for the whole ecosystem down here, so, uh... Great. Just keep... The sealed weapons by your chambers. Your father won't observe their absence, I don't think. They remind him of a time he stood together with his brothers and sisters. He wants nothing more to do with it. The power that once sealed away the Titans. Maybe it's a power that can break me out of here. Didn't hear you come in. So how did it go? How did you die ignobly this time, pray tell? So... In that case, I'll spare you the detail. Fine. Your failure is quite easily imagined. How often it recurs. Almost as though my realm is built to keep you here. You and every single soul that's ever lived. Maybe you'll have something more affordable next time. You have met most of your Olympian relatives by now, child. Although the power of their blessings is... They all still think I'm headed to join them on Olympus. That's why they're... They are helping you because you are family. Family with whom they do not yet have a complicated past. It's getting complicated pretty fast. Hey, the lounge is open. Oh, the prince himself. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh. I, uh, just wanted to say, don't bother picking up my room today. Thanks for all your hard work. Now go. 
goes the chains. Greetings, Broker. Fair and square. <laughs> A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area. Celebrate. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. Something back there for you, pal. Don't suppose I can talk you into fighting. Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it. Okay. Need to find a key. Let's go, Coronacht. something new to try. Might help. Gust of air. This mark, almost like a bat wing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hey, boss. Found you. Good. Hermes, at your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally, I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now, come on. We've both got late. the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now let's go. So look for...
you were my son instead of he, but no, I just, I just, here, take my blood. You take good care of Coronat for me, so I can try it too once you're up here.
leave my troves alone. No time to lose. Deal with you later, then. There we go. Mine now. For safekeeping. the edge I need. Thanks, Daedalus. Nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. Got their attention. Cheers for the coin. Satisfied. Peace and quiet. <sighs> Don't spend it all in one place, mate. to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me... Great. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Zag, any last requests this time before I send you out? Let's see. How about a swift and painful death? Would that be possible? Be cheeky all you like. You'll get exactly what you asked and nothing more.
Got you that time, Meg. Achilles might know what to do with this. father. I can wash away my boons. in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. I barge where I please. Never been this far. Cheers. Now we're getting somewhere. The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. Skull crushers. right along.
of the gods. giant gorgon head. Hey, where's Hypnos? All of this knows of him? Bestowing on him all their worthless blessings here within my realm. Our realm. Explain to me how exactly this is possible, Nix. Either your limitless power has considerably waned, or you are up to something. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Blood and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a fool. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. Nix. No sign of service ah. for now. I like the sound of this. Work approved and here's the fee, good contractor. Please, make yourselves at home. Achilles, sir. I got a relic of some sort out there. A globule of ancient blood which formed after I fought with Megara. Is this really the Titan's blood I found? As far as I know, yes, lad. That it is. Though whose exactly, I'm not so sure. You'd best hang on to it and keep it safe. Your weapons. They shall thirst for it and drink it up. Not yet, perhaps, but soon. Well... I wasn't about to drink it. When the prodigal son returns, everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. 
I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. You get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're gonna be so lucky next we meet out there. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. Anything good? Oh! I, uh, hope you're having a nice day. Even though you don't want to live here anymore, Your Highness. And there she goes again. I want to go lie down. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep save for the prince it is exactly as he planned lower your voice old man i'm trying to be sneaky here he ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father half expecting to be caught but ill expecting what he is about to find i said shut up old man he does not know exactly what he seeks he only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for him. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus, which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice, the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone that she's my mother but but father always said that Nyx was m that liar he lied to me they both did all my life uh, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage entirely by chance this did occur Persephone the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Not even tired, thanks.
show me something new. The power of night. Finally! Hey, pal, watch where you throw those bloodstone things of yours. You drop them, you go pick them up, you understand? But if somebody get... I'll just aim generally for the midsection, since the eyes are a lot harder to hit in my experience. Baratha hungers. Hey, that looks pretty mean. Oh, I'm hit! One... 